after months of being closed, Spokane Racquet Club members are back hitting the courts. But they didn't know they would have to bundle up to break a sweat. The temperature of the tennis courts is 36 degrees. The almost freezing club is full of eager members, just happy to let off some steam. Indoor low-risk sports are finally permitted under Governor Inslee's new reopening guidelines with some safety protocols. Masks are required and reservations must be made ahead of time. It's kind of like the silver lining story of bad things come in threes and we've had that was kind of our third bad thing. The Spokane Racquet Club had a devastating 2020, regardless of the pandemic and the shutdowns. Board member Luke Zitterkoff says first a car crashed into the side of the building. Then the pool system needed numerous repairs. And now the heater broke. With the pandemic, some members are having to choose between rent and a sporting club. And rent wins every time. During the shutdown time, I think that's been the hardest for us on record as far as how many people have been forced to leave. Club manager Kay Menzies says two-thirds of the heater costs over $65,000. Your choice had to be made, install a heater or continue with staff. They are staying positive despite what looks like an uphill battle. Now that they are legally allowed to be open, they are hoping new players will join their team. Because once you hit three bad events in a row, Zitterkoff says you should be in the clear. Although the cost is substantial, we feel like it will pay off in the long run because membership will be more comfortable. The heater should be installed in early February, so members will be able to work out without their winter clothes on soon. Reporting in Spokane, Morgan Trow, Krem 2 News.